You hit controls, hit yes, and it lifts it right up for you. Wouldn't it be nice if you can just pop the frunk as you're walking up to it? I've got my iPad so you can see it a little bit better. But you know, you can right now, you can hit the button and it'll pop the frunk, but then you have to lift it. But what if there was an easier way? Wait, I'm not doing a what if video today. This is, this is just a coincidence. <laughs> I'm doing a what if video later in the week. But it'd be nice if you were, if you had a pizza box and you had your phone sitting on top or you're holding the pizza box with one hand, you have your phone, you don't, you want to put the pizza box up front here because you don't want the car to smell like pizza. So you don't want to have to get in the car, hit the button to pop the frunk and then get out and lift the frunk. Wouldn't it be nice if it just popped up? Well, I think I may have a solution to that. See, these shocks lift it up and make it easy to close. It's really nice. It's you know, it doesn't put any strain on the hood, uh, holds it up just fine, uh, you know, but it doesn't lift the hood. It really has to get to this point before it will actually open up itself. So if those things were a little bit more powerful, then if we popped it, it should lift it all the way up. That's where these come into play. I got these on Amazon and these are a replacement for those that are a little bit stronger. Uh, than the stock ones, but not as strong as the ones in the trunk. The trunk ones are really strong. These are just a little bit less than the trunk ones. So I'm gonna install these and I'll show you what we can do. Now to install these, you see this little clip right here. It's a retaining clip. If you pull that out just a little bit with a little screwdriver, there's a little pry area. You lift that out just a little bit. It will release the, the strut from the housing. Now to put them back on, all you do is just force them on. You don't have actually have to have the screwdriver. So for the replacement ones, we're just going to pop it into place. Makes it really easy, makes a clean install, a really fast install, uh, really nothing to it. Unfortunately, because this is a hood and these things hold up the hood, you do kind of have to maybe work with somebody else or work fast because you do have to hold up the hood. Once you get that one over there, you can actually pop this one into place because these are just a bit shorter. And then it'll actually hold it up for you, giving you plenty of space and time to remove the gas shock. And then you do the same thing as you did the other side, pop it into place, pop it into place, and you close it. Now there's going to be a little bit more tension on this, so you have to be a little careful. You don't want to just jam this closed right away. You want to give it a little pressure because those are extended quite a bit, so they stayed out, so the pressure is built up in those. You just slowly give it some force and then they start to move, but it goes down just fine. And then the cool part. I've got my app, you hit controls, hit yes, and it lifts it right up for you. You easily put something in there. And then you can close it, no problem. I wish they would have done something like this. I understand why they didn't because it does give some added pressure here, which I don't think is such a bad thing. Now I know the hood is aluminum, so it's easy. You could easily bend it, but with that extra force right here, uh, that shock is about right in this area. It's actually forcing this up where now this is flush. Let me show you, let me show you here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me let me get down. You can see this is really uh, close now. Let me get right down on this, but you can see that now, now this is really close. This used to be below this area. It used to be down quite a bit, almost, uh, almost a quarter of an inch. Now it's pretty much flush all the way down the hood. And it doesn't buckle above the hood at all. And also right here, it's even. Of course, it's gonna be even from the latch here, so it actually makes the hood fit a lot better. It's that easy, just replacing those shocks makes this thing lift up by itself. I tried many things. I actually tried before that. I actually had these little, uh, really strong springs. Let me show you. I don't know if it's focusing, but uh, these, these springs, I, I, took off, I took apart the shock, put this in between there, and it wouldn't give it enough force to pop the stock one up. You need to replace this, the struts if you're gonna do that. Uh, I even tried these on the back. I, I have some even stronger ones that I tried on the back, and I just can't get it past that point of it lifting itself. I'm still working on the trunk. 
I would like something that is motorized uh, or it pops up itself. I don't mind giving a little bit more force to close it. It's nice to have it pop up as you're walking. You may ask, how many times are you gonna use that? Or say you're sitting in the car, your wife's in the store shopping. You don't, you don't feel like going into the store, you wanna sit out and maybe listen to the radio or things like that, but you see her coming with her hands full of groceries or hands full of some bags that you know will fit in the front. All you have to do is hit the button as she's walking up. Hit the button as she's walking up and you now have been Mr. Lazy, not gotten out and helped her. I mean, pop the frunk for her. So again, I'll have a link in the description for the shocks. You can pick them up on Amazon. It's, it's just an easy plug-in replacement. So I like this setup so far. It seems to be working well. I am gonna work on something for the trunk, but if you're interested in buying a Tesla, whether it be a Model S, Model X, or now a Performance Model 3, you can use my referral code and get free supercharging for life of the vehicle. My information will be down below, but it helps out the channel. And just like a lot of you guys already help out the channel, uh, referral codes get us to go, get us cool things and also get us places. Thanks to you guys, looks like we're going to be able to go to an event, hopefully the Model Y event, out in out in San Francisco. That's going to be a blast. I'm going to bring you guys along with me via the camera. Uh, but also, if you're in the Charlotte area and you're picking up a and you're picking up a performance, I I think they got some performance in there. I'm not sure if they delivered them yet, but if you're picking it up and you want to be on camera, please let me know. Give me a comment down below what you're picking up, when you're picking it up. I got something cool planned. I've already got the place. I just need a couple cars. I just need a performance and an all wheel drive. I've got this one. Uh, I've got my 75D. And uh, actually, if you have a P100D and you wanna join, also hit me up. Kinda got something big planned. So let me know in the comments down below. And as always, have an awesome day. Stay positive and... Uh... What the frunk you think? Ah, that's... That's stupid. See ya.